Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and today we are back with another episode of Runaway Teen. So we are here with Kari and Ben. Um, they're just sort of chilling, eating breakfast together. Um, I actually played like a couple days off camera, and um, Ben made a little friend at school. He met a kid named Archer, and like he came over for a little bit, and they talked for a while. Um, Alexander came over to see Kari, and then um, Kari got a new quirk. A new celebrity quirk because she was posting a lot on her social media she got the public number quirk so now we will start getting random calls from people like random calls and texts and stuff and that'll probably drive her crazy but the most important thing is Kari is really stressed out right now like beyond stressed like her um her workaholic lifestyle is driving her crazy like not being not being at work is really stressing her out because she's really nervous but because she's so stressed she can't do anything like literally she can't play the piano like she can't play the piano she can't go around and do her rounds because she can't garden or anything because she's too stressed to do anything so what we're going to do with Kari today is actually send her to lifestyle coaching because she needs to get rid of this lifestyle because it is not helpful whatsoever um she is just stressed out all the time and she needs to deal with that because she needs to be able to continue with her life and do what she wants to do and she can't really do that while she's freaking out and stressing constantly so we are going to send her to lifestyle coaching today as soon as ben goes to school oh, and there kari goes she is off to her lifestyle coaching and Ben is still just sitting here like, dude, finish your breakfast. <laughs> like, you started eating before Kari did. Why is it taking you so long? Well, Ben's going to be a little late to school. He'll be like an hour late, which is bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> but it's fine. No, don't put your dish away. Just go. Just go. Just go. I thought you could only have three lifestyles. Why does she have four? Okay, whatever. The workaholic one is the one we're getting rid of. Um, so let's go ahead and set Ben to making friends because that's what we want him to do. Um, now Kari is feeling much better, uh, because she's no longer stressed out. Unfortunately, she has to do a little bit of repairing because, uh, cleaning a plate broke her sink. So we gotta clean that. And then if I can crap, why did he put it in the table like this? Why Ben? Why? Dad, like really? Really? Like... <laughs> You know Ben's at school right now. Why are you inviting him over? No, he can't come. He has to go to school. Um, so once Kari finishes with this, we will go ahead and send her on her rounds and stuff because she needs to make some money naturally. So let's go ahead and go do all that. Yeah, and by the way, sorry if I sound a bit off today. I'm actually sick right now. I had to stay home from work today because I feel like shit. Um, I actually had like a little bit of a fever when I woke up this morning, so yeah, I'm feeling a little sick today, so sorry if I sound off, but I wanted to make sure I got this episode done and ready for you guys, because I've been like, it's been hard for me to actually like upload when I'm supposed to, because like um, at work we're super busy right now because we're so like understaffed that like we're working like 11, 12, 13 hour days. So yeah, it's been pretty rough. So having time to um, actually actually do my recordings and stuff has been a little hard. So yeah, I wanted to try to get this done today and try to get everything up because I don't want to be behind again. Like last week I was behind. Like um, this episode came out really late last week and I don't want to do that again. So we are level nine of the gardening skill, which is super funny because Kari hates it. <laughs> but she's doing so well at it because it's just something she has to do for um like to make her money but just from like wandering around and picking these plants every day she's level nine already okay, and i think the plan for today is as soon as she finishes doing her rounds we'll go ahead and take her into orchid to go go to do a little bit of busking yeah she's definitely stinky so we're gonna have to take a shower before we do anything but yeah after we like get cleaned up and everything we'll take her to orchid to go go because, um, yeah, we want to do some busking. And I, I was also thinking about our aspiration earlier. Because, like, the last thing for our aspiration is to mentor others in music for three hours. And I was thinking that we would do that for with Ben. But, like, even as a kid, I don't think I can mentor him in anything. Because, like, the only, I think the only instrument kids can play is the violin. Well, he might be able to play piano. But, 
either way you have to be level 10 in your skill like in your music skill to mentor somebody else in it and we're not level 10 in, p- in piano yet and we don't we've never played a violin so I don't know if we'll actually be able to mentor him or not so uh, we'll see we'll probably have to keep working on our piano skills that way we can mentor him in that but yeah we'll have to see how that goes all right so we are here in Orchid Yogo and one of our fans is freaking out um she's down there <laughs> oh it wasn't down for very long good for her but yeah uh, we're just gonna play for a little bit and hopefully get some tips and we'll see how things go okay what the hell thorn really the first person to give us a prank call is thorn bailey saying our 15 minutes of fame are up i thought we were friends bruh like what the hell <laughs> what an ass hey nico's here we haven't seen him in a while <laughs> okay he literally walked in clapped for us for like two seconds and then turned around and walked out well done nico could have at least given us a tip you know that would have been nice oh would you look who it is look at him swaggering in here after he just insulted us yeah go ahead walk out leave no one wants to see you rude well thorn might be rude but his wife is nice she came in and tipped us so um oh god is he coming back in and his son oh my goodness look at him look at him so rude i cannot believe he insulted me i mean look at our friendship we have a literally 100 percent friendship but this dude came in and texted us and he was like oh you're 15 minutes of fame you're up fuck you man what the hell oh now you're gonna tip us now you're gonna act like you're our friend again okay okay i see i see you you probably thought you were anonymous when you texted us you probably thought we didn't know it was you not realizing you gave us your number freaking jerk god well, Yuki's here. We haven't seen Yuki in a while. Are you serious, Thorn? Like, really? Really? You're gonna come in here? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Walk away. Thank you. He came over and started, like, messing around with the mic, and he was, like, gonna start a comedy routine. <laughs> like, dude, we are performing right now. That's so rude. But he decided to leave, which is all cool. And all his fans are just sort of hanging around. And they're obsessing over his wife now. Guys, what about me? Like, I'm actually performing. Come on, like, pay attention to me. Look at me, right here. Kari, the best, you know? I was not paying attention. It's literally 9.30 p.m. She should probably get home to take care of her brother. That might be a good idea. Ooh, one last tip. There we go. Okay, yeah, now let's go home. Um, You need to make sure Ben's okay. Because, like, I mean, she made food this morning, so there's plenty of food in the fridge, so he should be good. But uh, we need to make sure he's home and he's doing his homework and everything. So, yeah. Um, we should get going. <laughs> All right, so Kari is back and she's helping little Ben with his homework. So we're gonna try to get that done before he goes to bed because he needs to go to bed soon because it's already like 11 o'clock pretty much. So we need to get him to bed. So Kari's gonna finish, help him finish his homework and then send him off. Otherwise, I think all his, I think all his needs are pretty good. He took pretty good care of himself while she wasn't here, so that was good. Um, so yeah, we'll just finish up his homework and then sleep the night away and i'll bring you guys back in the morning all right so we are up uh ben's getting some breakfast before school and kari is gonna get ready to go do her rounds again uh she's gotta take care of her garden it's not looking super great what the fuck are you wearing nico nico what okay you know what he's an actor maybe he just came home in costume um okay yeah yeah ugh okay um, but anyways today is love day so there maybe we'll go out and do something we'll see maybe we'll see if someone invites us out for love day because like kari still hasn't really shown anybody that she's super interested in or anything so um i don't really know who she would be going for but who knows maybe on love day we'll get a little message from somebody and they'll invite us to the romance festival or something oh wait no love day doesn't mean romance festival oops well, you know, <laughs> we'll see what happens. You know, maybe somebody will talk to us or something. And maybe we'll consider taking her out on a date or something. Because Kari is sort of getting along. Like, she is, um, where is she right now? She is, yeah, so she's about to turn into an actual adult. Oh, hey, right off. Rohan wants to celebrate. She used to think Rohan was super attractive. So, um, sure, you can come over and maybe we'll see what happens. But yeah, what I was saying is Kari is like getting pretty close to being a full-blown adult. So, oh my god, really? 
lol did you really let your number leak onto the net haha <laughs> just another dumb celeb well fuck you carrie god <laughs> so rude um but yeah um maybe we'll hang out with rohan today and see if maybe kari feels anything you know because she i guess he was technically her crush when she was a teen because she thought he was like super attractive and whatnot so who knows all right ben's at school so i'm gonna go ahead and set him to make friends because like for ben like i don't want him like i don't want him to focus totally on school like kari did because i don't think kari would want that either because she knows that they're like she's decided that there's more important things than school so obviously she's not going to try to push him push that on him so i think it would make sense for her to be like yeah it's okay for you to um like not care quite so much about school like it's important and you need to do your homework and stuff but when you're at school just focus on making friends you know that sort of thing and why did you cancel all my interactions <laughs> That is so rude. Okay. Come on, girl. This is how you make money. You have to do it. <laughs> this is tissue paper flowers. In celebration of Love Day, Benjamin's class made tissue paper flowers. The teacher asked all the students to give their flowers away to someone special. Now Benjamin just needed to think of the right person. So gift flowers to brighten day or keep flowers for self. I think he would give the flowers away. Let's see how that goes. Oh, God. <laughs> Benjamin passed by his teacher, a sad little girl, and the school bully. Nothing felt good enough until he spotted an old man alone in the park. He reached into his backpack, only to find that the bouquet of tissue powers, tissue flowers had been utterly demolished by his homework while walking. There was probably a lesson to be learned here. Oh, Ben. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> He was trying to be nice. Aw. It would have been really sweet to give flowers to some poor old man. Oh, poor baby. Oh, and now Yuki wants to hang out. Well, we're hanging out with Rohan right now. Um, I don't know. Plus, like, I hate when they say that. They say, do you want to hang out tonight? And then they invite you out, like, immediately. Like, you have to go talk to them immediately. It's really annoying. Are you going to take a mud bath? Dude, like, are you, are you serious? You're going to take a bath. Like, I should have just gone with Yuki. I should have just gone and hung out with Yuki. Oh my god. Anyways, let's see what all we got from our rounds today. 406. Not bad. So we are building up a bit of money, which is good. Alright, so we just got a sentiment. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Oh, that's cute. So what does she think of Rohan now? Because, like, I know she, when she was a teen, she thought he was extremely attractive. So I wonder what she thinks of him now. She just sees him as just attractive now, which is fine. He's a... <laughs> Rohan's a criminal. <laughs> what? Rohan, you were supposed to be a college boy. What happened? Oh, Rohan. That's a surprise. Okay. Well, Rohan became a criminal, so I don't think we want to hook up with him that that probably wouldn't go over so well you know considering we're a celebrity and we have like a young brother that we're living with like it's all just not the best sort of person to bring into the home so maybe we'll just you know maybe just just ask him to leave just go away rohan i don't think you need to be here anymore um <laughs> i can't believe he's a criminal <laughs> i was not expecting that okay um so unless somebody else calls Kari up and like invites her out or something then we're just gonna go to Orchid a go go and do some more busking for today Ugh. Kari I've been building a shrine to you oh it went away but still that was ugh. Ugh. gross okay but yeah um we are back at Orchid a go go doing some of our busking getting some tips and everything um just sort of getting some money um why are we scared oh we're probably scared because of the text yep obsessed fan oh no 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 no. Ugh, that text that text from a fan was super creepy yes yes it was well ben's home from school so let's have him do something while he's home well actually let's bring ben here because um i did say that i wanted him to come and see what kari does so let's have him come and you can come here and if it'll work <laughs> there we go you can come here and watch her show. Ben is just invisible. He's been invisible this entire time. I don't know why he's just not showing up. Oh, there he is, finally. <laughs> okay, so he gets to see Kari. He gets to see her uh, playing her music and stuff, which is new for him. Um, 
And he is hella bored. Uh, he has nothing to do. I wonder, can he use anything? Ooh, he can practice singing. Let's have him practice singing. Does Ben like singing? Ben could be a singer. Why are you talking to Eliza Pancakes? Don't talk to her. I wonder how he sounds. I don't have my headphones on right now. Hold on, I gotta put them on so I can hear him. Oh god. <laughs> uh, that's a bit rough. But, um, you have fun with that. I'm gonna take my headphones back off now. So these guys can just sort of chill and do some music together. And maybe this is something that that Ben will enjoy, you know? Cause like he can always try it out and we'll see how it goes. And my game froze, are you kidding me? So he can always just try it out and see how it goes, see if he likes it, you know? Um, it's sort of a fun thing for him to do. Him and Kari can just hang out and enjoy this together. But um, yeah, we can sort of, oh, thorns here again. I'm still bitter about that text. Doesn't matter how many times you tip, you tip me, I'm still bitter. How dare you? Ben is actually getting pretty hungry and it's like five o'clock, so we should probably head back. So I kind of want him to get finish a skill point though. There we go. He got it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and have them both go home. All right, so they're back home and they're eating breakfast for dinner. And um, after that, we'll get Ben to do his homework and then maybe we'll hang out a little bit before bed. Uh, we did get a text like as we were leaving from Yuki. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll hang out with Yuki a little bit later. Are they gonna hug? Oh, cute. Hold on, I have to take a picture. They haven't hugged in a while. I want to take a picture. <laughs> I mean, I kind of missed the little hug part, but you know, it's still cute. Cuteness. Okay. Um. Anyways. Yeah, we got a text from Yuki asking us to go to the Spice Festival with her, and like she did text us earlier to hang out as well. So I think we'll go ahead and hang out with Yuki in a bit. Uh, we're just gonna help. Ben with his homework first and then we'll go out and hang out with Yuki. All right, so we are hanging out with Yuki. We are back in the city, which we haven't been at in a long time. We're actually back at the same place that we hung out with Yuki when we were a teen, which is uh, Planet Honey Pop. So we're back here. Um, things are different because we now have paparazzi following us everywhere, but we can at least hang out with our friend and try to talk to her for a little bit. And um, she's walking away. Is she, oh, is she going to tell the paparazzi to leave us alone? She did! She just told the paparazzi to leave. Oh my god, she's so sweet. She must have realized that they were driving us crazy. That's awesome. So, uh, let's go brighten her day. Um, uh, but yeah, let's just talk to Yuki for a little bit. Um, see what she's thinking. Okay, what the hell, Gunther? Go away. Like, this is- this is our time, please. Like, we're here to hang out together. Like, can you just leave? Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and talk to her for a little We can hang out with Yuki for a little bit. And, you know- I didn't think that Kari was into girls because she's like, all, like, um, whenever you pull up a girl, like, in her, um, relationship tabs, like, she doesn't have any attraction to any of them. You see, like, there's no attraction thing like there would be if it was the guy. So, I didn't think she was really into girls, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe Yuki calling us up on love day is a little bit of a sign. So, let's just test the waters a little bit, you know? Just throw out a little ask if single, you know, we'll see what's going on. Maybe a little flirt, you know, see what she thinks. All right, so Yuki is single, so, um, oh, okay, the little flirt went over well. Hmm, okay, let's see. Um, can you, like, get out of our conversation, please? Why are all you people here? Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> seen that before oh that's amazing okay well um i'm gonna make travis leave because this is not this is not your business travis please leave um <laughs> i guess we'll talk to um we'll just talk to, <laughs> to you <laughs> i can't believe we got crumple bottom um but yeah we're gonna keep trying to flirt with yuki a little bit and see what she thinks and Oh, yeah, I guess we decided to leave and get away from Agnes. It's probably a good idea. Oh, we're going cloud gazing together. Well, stargazing. Oh my god, that's super cute. Okay, so that's hella cute. So, yeah, um, maybe we'll just try flirting with Yuki a little bit more. Maybe just see, see what goes on, you know? You know, we're feeling pretty confident, so let's try a bold pickup line. We'll see. 
see how it goes. So I just opened up Yuki's thing because like since we decided to flirt with her, we've now realized that we find her very attractive. So we're gonna go for this. We're gonna we're just gonna go for it and we're gonna see what happens. You know, I always thought that Yuki would be our best friend, but maybe she's meant to be something more, you know? So um let's just talk. Let's just see how it goes. We're just gonna go all out. <laughs> all the flirts. See what happens. <laughs> we have a romance bar. <laughs> we officially have a romance bar. Oh my god. Okay, dude, can you not like clap about us flirting? It's kinda creepy. Please go away. Oh no no. No, no, don't leave. <laughs> Damn it, Yuki. This is a bad habit of yours. You always leave right when we're trying to do stuff. Ugh, I can't even click on her. No. Ugh. Fine. Okay, it is pretty late. It's literally 1.30 in the morning. Okay, I'll let you go, Yuki. But we now officially have romance with Yuki, which is interesting. So that's definitely something we can check out later. Uh, Rohan's here. Um, please, please stop. Um, like, yeah. Um... Since we're here and there's a bunch of our fans gathered around outside, I want to see if we can like sign autographs and stuff. Oh, there we go. We're signing our first autograph. So we signed one for Caleb because he like passed out for us earlier. So we went ahead and signed an autograph for Caleb. He seemed to like that. Um, so Love Day really didn't go as well as Kari was hoping, but we did start a relationship with Well, we didn't start a relationship. We started flirting with Yuki a little bit and she, she was receptive. She liked it. So who knows? Maybe something will come from that. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and head home because it is hella late and I can see that Ben is not asleep yet, which is not good. He needs to sleep. So we should probably get home and make sure he goes to bed. Are you serious? Clement Frost, your 15 minutes of fame are rapidly coming to an end. TikTok, Kari. You're freaking Santa. You're Santa Claus. Like, what? How rude. Ugh. I cannot believe these people. Like, what did Kari even do? She goes around and she busts on her guitar. Why are you guys so mean to her? Okay, we just got a text from Yuki. Kari, I couldn't get you out of my mind. Can we spend some time together right now? Yes, of course. Let's do it. Are you coming over here? You're not taking me somewhere? Okay, she must be coming over here, I think. I think that's what that means. Let me go check. Are you at my house? There. Okay, she did come over. Okay, so we need to get over here so we can hang out with Yuki. And that's awesome. Yuki's actually excited to see us too, which is great. All right, so we can come in here and hang out with Yuki for a little bit, talk to her for a while. Oh, she's embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed, hun? Maybe she was a bit nervous about sending that text. Maybe she wasn't sure how things were going to go. But it's all good, hun. We were excited. We were happy to get your text. Like, we want you over here. Let's drop some little flirts and stuff. Do we have to talk in the bathroom? Can we talk like somewhere else? <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Like, hella awkward. Alright, um, Ben, I, like, I'm all for you trying to talk to us and everything, but not this conversation, okay? Just focus on your typing, okay? <laughs> we are trying to build a relationship here. Just calm down for a sec, okay? We can already have our first kiss. Mm, I think maybe we'll wait a little longer. Maybe do a little more flirting first. Okay. <laughs> Kari wants to woohoo with Yuki. That's a bit much, hun. Like, you guys just started talking. But okay, we will... We'll work towards it. Mm, we could try confess attraction, but that rarely ever goes well. We'll try it, and we'll see what happens. And that'll sort of determine what we do next. But she is kind of embarrassed, so there's a high likelihood that it's not gonna work. But we'll test it, and we'll see. Fingers crossed. She was down, even though she's super embarrassed, she was down. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's try the first kiss. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was her first kiss. Not just their first kiss. That's actually Kari's very first kiss. She's never kissed anybody before, so that's cute. And, you know, they've been friends for a really long time, and, like, they're just now getting into this relationship and everything, but I think... I think we just go for it. Just ask her to be our girlfriend. See what she says. <laughs> she said yes. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it. Okay. We are officially a couple. Super cute. And I am actually going to get them to take a selfie together. Like one that I can actually have. Okay. So Kari is officially in a relationship. That is a pretty big step for today. There we go. Okay. So on that happy note, I think that is where I'm going to leave things for today. Um, so we are officially in a relationship uh, with Yuki, surprisingly. Never saw that coming, but there it is. Um, why is my camera all over the place? <laughs>
but yeah, um, so things are going pretty good. Uh, we've built up some more money. We started a new relationship. Uh, Ben's doing fairly well. He's making some friends in school and stuff. So yeah, things are going pretty good. And um, this episode's probably been kind of short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>